Hi there, it's Justin Lubino with Senior Advisors. In this video, we create each year to discuss some of the changes that are happening with the Part D program with Medicare. And basically, there's about 25 different Part D plans available in each state across the country. And all of those Part D plans, and as well as Medicare Advantage plans that provide drug coverage, they all have to follow these rules or steps, if you will, with Part D of Medicare. And the first step is the deductible. And next year in 2024, the maximum deductible is increasing from $505 to $545. So it's possible that these drug plans can have a zero deductible, a $200 deductible, all the way up to $545. That's the maximum for 2024. So there's a slight increase, again, from this year going from 505 up to 545 for next year. Now, most of these plans that have a deductible, it generally does not apply to low cost, like tier one generic drugs. Um, those could still be zero copay or a couple dollars a month, um, even if you have a deductible. So normally the deductible applies to those higher tier, like the brand name uh, drugs or the more expensive medications. After the deductible comes something called initial coverage level. And most Medicare beneficiaries, about 85%, are never gonna get past this initial coverage level. And the way, while you're in the initial coverage level, you're just gonna pay a copay or co-insurance for your medication. It's gonna feel similar to like a group insurance or, or individual under 65, where you pay a you know, $5, $20, $50, $40, whatever the copay is or co-insurance for your drug is what you're gonna pay while you're in the initial coverage level. Now, again, only a small percentage of people are gonna get past this initial coverage level, about roughly about 15%. And the way you get past the initial coverage level is if you have very expensive medications. And for 2024, the total cost of your drugs, based on the retail cost of the drug, not what you're paying, but the retail cost, if it exceeds this $5,030, that's when you're gonna fall into this coverage gap or donut hole um, which is the third step with Medicare Part D. And if you reach that donut hole, you have to pay 25% the cost of your drug. So this can get very confusing. So I'm going to show an example on the next slide that gets into a lot of detail uh, month by month for someone that would be reaching this coverage gap, um, as well as the fourth step, which we're going to discuss uh, catastrophic coverage. All right, so the fourth step for, for individuals that have very expensive medications um, it's so that they're not stuck paying that 25% for the entire back half of the year. For example, a drug like Humira, um, that drug, the retail cost is about $6,000 a month. Okay, so if you're on that Humira drug, you're going to reach that coverage gap in the first month, and paying 25% is still like $1,500 a month, right? So the reason there's this fourth step is so you're not stuck paying that you know that 25% for the entire back half of the year. Again, that only affects about 4% of people reach that, um, that, that fourth step in the process. Now, the big change coming for next year is if you do reach catastrophic coverage, uh, you used to have to pay 5% the cost of your drugs. Now it'll be zero. So basically there's kind of now going to be a cap on your maximum drug cost um, starting in 2024. And there'll be an official cap starting in 2025, which I cover in other videos, um, which explain the impacts of the Inflation Reduction Act from, from 2022. So that's in another video. I'll put the link above here if you wanna see that. But getting back here, um, again, getting into the donut hole is based on the retail cost of your drugs. If they're over 5,030, you're gonna get into the coverage gap. And then to get to the catastrophic level, it's based on this other figure, which is called troop or true out of pocket of $8,000. That doesn't mean you have to spend $8,000 of your, your money. Um, it's the true out of pocket is everything you've spent for your medications. Plus it includes the pharmaceutical discount of, for your drug costs while you're in the coverage gap, which is basically 70% of the, the drug cost. So rather than, you know, get too, tied up in these definitions. And I'll show you again, a detailed example on the next slide, if you're interested. But what I tell most people is if you have expensive drugs, you're probably going to spend roughly 
a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars of your money to get into the coverage gap, and then probably another thousand to fifteen hundred to get to catastrophic level, um, where next year you'll pay uh, zero dollars again once you reach catastrophic. So now, again, this is going to get into a lot of detail. We do this every year, and we just adjust the model based upon the updated figures for the current year. So that's what this is. It's the same example we've used in prior years, just with the updated figures for 2024. So we can kind of track what the overall impact would be for someone that has those expensive drugs. Again, 85% of people are not even going to reach this, this donut hole. So if you have low cost drugs or this, you know, you don't want to get too confused by this, um, you can probably just go to the end of the video at this point. But for those that have expensive drugs or are interested in how this, this donut hole works, this is a little model, that, again, we've done in prior years. And the example we're using is one medication. This is really the model for Part D is based upon the total cost of your drugs. But for this example, we're just assuming you, this person is taking one expensive drug that has a retail cost of $1,200 a month. It's the same example we've used for the last five years. And we just update the figures to show you the impact of these changes. So the first change is that um, initial coverage level. Again, that increased uh, for 2024 to $5,030. And then the catastrophic true out of pocket uh, also increased to uh, $8,000. So these, these figures then funnel into the model that you see below to give you an idea for this individual that has this expensive drug um, that, that has a Part D plan that has an $80 copay and no deductible for this example. The first few months of the year, they're just paying $80 per month. That's their copay for their medication. Then once they reach May, now they've hit the coverage gap because the retail cost of their drug, remember it's $1,200 a month, has now exceeded that initial coverage level of $5,030. So May is what we call a partial month in this example, because you know, you, you're not exactly hitting 50, 30, you're at 4,800 at the end of April. And then um, at the end of May, you're at 6,000 for your true out of, I'm sorry, for your retail cost of your drug. So May is like a partial month. And then once you hit June, you'll see that that's where that full 25% uh, cost of the drug that you're in the donut hole for, you pay the $300 per month for that medication because now you've exceeded the initial coverage level. And again, you're paying 25% per month. Now that will continue that very high cost for that drug, you know, the $300 a month, 25% um, you're gonna pay for June, July, August, September, October. And now you get to November and it drops slightly because this is another partial month, but now you've reached the catastrophic coverage where you're really going to start to pay zero dollars for your drugs in 2024. So again, November is a partial month where you're still in the um, coverage gap. And then December is the full month where you're reaching the full catastrophic, where you're going to pay zero uh, starting in 2024. Now, how do you get to the catastrophic level? Well, this is that true out-of-pocket number that we tracked month by month, um, which includes what you've spent for your medications and the pharmaceutical discount. Um, for those brand name drugs while you're in the coverage gap. So look down here, the first few months, your true out of pocket is just $80 a month because that's what you've paid for your medications. Then once you reach the coverage gap, there's this figure here that gets added in, which is the pharmaceutical discount for that brand name drug while you're in the donut hole, which again, this is a partial month, but it's basically $840 a month is being discounted um, while you're in that coverage gap. So you have to add that 840 uh, into uh, the $300 that you're paying for the drug to get the 1140 here. And then the last row is just the running total. So we can see what that true out of pocket number is 80, and then it goes to 160, and we add another 80. So it's 240, and then it goes to 320, and so on. And now it's getting higher because we're in the coverage gap. And where do we re reach that threshold? We're trying to get to that 8,000. Okay, well, it's between uh, October and November is when we reach that catastrophic level. And that's when you're going to pay zero, essentially, starting in 2024, um, which you can see there in the full month of December. And if we add up all those numbers um, for what the consumer pays in this example, it comes out to 2324 for the year, um, which is actually remarkably similar to what it was in 2023 when we did this example. Um, so even though these numbers changed slightly and they went up, 
um, because the catastrophic went down to zero cost sharing for the consumer. Um, these numbers are almost identical. I think it was just right around 2,300 um, for, for last year. It might've gone up 20 bucks or something in this example, but uh, very similar. So the big change though, again, coming in 2025, we won't do this slide next year when we do this video because this is all going away. The, the coverage gap, the catastrophic level um, will be gone in 2025. And there's gonna be a cap of $2,000 um, for your maximum uh, drug costs uh, starting in 2025. So you'll see that in next year's video. Um, just a quick note for all of our clients out there, we do a, a free review every year for their, their drug plans. There's only one opportunity really to change uh, the drug plan, which is October 15th to December 7th. So we send out a reminder to all of our clients in September to get their latest drug list and rerun their drug analysis to make sure they have the right drug plan for the, the following year. Um, so they fill out that drug form and we, we do that analysis for them. Uh, this slide just shows uh, why I work with senior advisors for your Medicare planning. Um, if you work with us, you know, you have a big smile um, like this picture here. Otherwise, um, you might not be too happy here like uh, this little guy here. So um, just a couple other resources that are out there. I highly recommend you subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, also, um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, put comments um, if you like the video, because that'll get more people to, to see the video um, if you found it helpful. Um, you can also follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook. We put out content there as well with Medicare. And also on our website, um, we have blog articles and um, other resources there as well. So we hope you found this information helpful and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Take care.